CBS News, CBS News, Baghdad, CBS News, CBS News, Baghdad, CBS News, CBS News, Baghdad. We now give you a thousand cycle tone. Basra is a city living behind sandbags, and whenever there's a very brief respite from the incessant shelling, people come out and do their everyday chores, but one cannot really call this city as having a normal life of its own. There has been a proposal of a ceasefire on civilian targets starting tomorrow, but how long the ceasefire will last, only the future can tell. It probably will last just not much longer than all the past ceasefires in this country. Eric Durschmidt for CBS News in Basra. When when did that happen? Uh, I was very afraid because of there's too much shelling bombing in all of the places, most of the hospitals and the, I think schools, most of the schools was also shelled, and our homes, near our homes, they have a baby, he's six or seven months only, I taking him and I'm running here and there because I'm afraid, because after that maybe it's happening something wrong for him, and I don't know to where I go to this, uh, and that situation was very bad, also outside there is no car, there is nobody, there is no one, no markets, nothing we can do, nothing for, for our defense. As well, every five minutes, every ten minutes, there is more than, you say, 15 or 20 bombs in each 15 or 20 minutes. It's between uh, one shell and the other. Because you cannot move, we cannot uh, do anything, see? That's the problem. How will it end? Uh, I don't get what will the future be? 
with somebody like your child. There is most, we see our eyes, in, our eyes, in front of our eyes, their child was killed. And most of them, there is no hand, there is no leg, there is some of them no eye, without eyes, and some of them died. And one of the yeah, neighbors, their child was be pieces, and they don't know who's, who's belonged to this child. You see, that's the problem. It's very, very bad. Doctor, was that done by bombs? Yes, that's it, uh, bomb, shelling. Now this is, is another one of, of a shell injury patients. That's another one. And as you see, he has a, also a sharp nail, big sharp nail. We have a lot of collapsing houses. And we are receiving as well as this one as a direct sharp nail injury to the extremities. <laughs> Yes, of course. But you know, the li normal life is going on, even with the shelling. And you can hear the... There is a shelling in the city and everything is going normal. The shell, as you can see, it's not more than 10 meters to it. How when will it go? Actually, we are, we are acclimatized with this situation. Is the population? Yes. Well, you can see the people. Uh, yeah. And the streets and the. يا روح يمر فيك محمد شرحان وش اسوي له برقية عني حتى شقد سرات ريد وماكم انا شقد تريد ماكم انا اذا كم شهيات يا اخي ستي لك قضي كل سيات معها والله زوينا يعني هو قصدي يعني مستاذ يعني هجرة صارت هجرة ماكو الان ممكن نشوفون البصرة مدينة مليون مقاتل يعني يمكن سينا you can see in Basra that all the people they are uh, going to live. Uh, 
and uh, the good example. A number of people have moved out from the Kuwaiti border. Is that correct? You said that some of the people of the Basra have moved out from the border to the border of Kuwaiti. Is that correct? هناك قضاء وحدة إدارية تابعة لمحافظة البصرة الناس اللي ساكنين في الصرايف وفي دور غير جيدة نعم راحوا وإحنا نقلناهم Attends, 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 attends. Att Run. Today the front is relatively calm. The Iraqi forces are well equipped, well dug in, and they wait. They wait like another force waited 100 years ago at Omdurman, the British, for the charge of the howling dervishes. They are the coined of phrase. Whatever happens, we have got the Maxim gun, and they do not. Eric Dershmit for CBS News, east of Basra.